1990, the UNLV Running Rebels decimated the Duke Blue Devils in the 1990 NCAA Basketball Championship. The Rebels were coached by the controversial Jerry Tarkanian, who was plagued with accusations of breaking NCAA regulations since the 70s. Tarkanian would push back and be pushed out from coaching and would financially settle with the NCAA for, quote, harassment. Many people called them thugs and hoodlums and the bad boys of basketball, but most of all, they were rebels, running rebels, and were one of the most unforgettable teams in the 90s. Here are 10 things you might not know about that extraordinary team. Number one, Larry Johnson was a junior college transfer. The superstar who would eventually become a star in the NBA was a junior college transfer and was expected to be a sixth man on the team, but was a leading scorer and rebounder instead for that 1990 team. Greg Anthony broke his jaw at the beginning of the season. Anthony would start out at the season with a broken jaw that would go back to plague him during the season. UNLV set the NCAA Division I men's basketball tournament record for largest margin of the victory in a championship game. UNLV's 30-point win over the Blue Devils was the largest margin won in college basketball. A missed college loan of Anderson Hunt might have started the Runnin' Rebels run. After Anderson Hunt was asked to be benched for past missed college loans, Tarkanian fired the team up. He told them that he, they could get even by kicking the crap out of everyone. Probably one of the strongest and strangest motivational speeches in college basketball history. Greg Anthony was head of the Young Republicans. Many people did not know that Greg Anthony was the head of the Young Republican Club at UNLV. Larry Johnson won the Wooden War. This could be a no-brainer, but yes, Larry Johnson would get the Player of the Year coveted award. Number seven, all five starters were back from the 1988 through 1989 season. It should have been a no-brainer that the 1990 team would be hard to beat considering that all five starters were back from the 1989 season. The Amoeba defense was developed by Pitt coach. The Amoeba defense was developed by Fran Webster, an assistant for the Pittsburgh Panthers men's basketball team in the 70s. Webster's perfected the defense with Pittsburgh head coaches Charles Riddle and Tim Gurich. Gurich later became an assistant to UNLV coach Jerry Tarkanian, who utilized the defense himself. Pitt used the defense extensively in their 74 season run to the Elite Eight. Larry Johnson averaged a double-double. Larry Johnson averaged a double-double points and rebounds for the UNLV Running Rebels and returned for his last year to go pro. As of the present, they are the last team from the non-major seven conferences, AAC to the ACC, the Big East, the Big Ten, Big 12, Pac-10, and SEC to win the national championship. The UNLV Rebels was part of the Big West Conference, which at the time is still day the last team to actually dominate in the tournament from that conference. You can love them and hate them, but they earned the sweat and tears and blood to get that championship of 89 through 90 amoeba defense and sanctions and all. They'll always be the running Rebels. Sub, share, and like below if you like videos like this. You guys have a wonderful day. Who's your daddy?